All right, so in this question, we have to consider the following statement and see which one of the following options represents the same relationship. All right, so let's read the statement. Y is equivalent, so let's write it out. Y is equivalent to 4 times the value of X divided by 8. Now, if we simplify this, we have y equals x divided by 2 because we can divide 4 and 8 by 4. All right, so now this is our linear function, and if we take a look at our point-slope formula, we can plug it in, and we will get y equals x divided by 2 plus 0. All right, because our c, our y-intercept, is going to be 0. And so if we take a look, let's take a look first at option A. If we look at option A, we see that the y-intercept matches our formula because if we place, if we want to know what our y-intercept is, we can place a 0 for x. And if we do so, we have 0 divided by 2. And so our y-intercept will be 0 when x is 0. So this is our y-intercept. All right, so A seems to be the right answer. And now let's move on to option B to see why it is incorrect. Also, another way to see that A is correct is because we have a slope of half. A slope of half means that for every time that we move up one, we have to move to the right two. So we move two to the right and up one, two to the right and up one, and that matches our slope. All right, now let's move on to B. In option B, our points, our intercept form our intercept should be at 0, 0, and it is not, so we can automatically cancel this option for being correct. And we can also tell by the slope that the slope is not half. Every time that we move to the right, we have to move 4 to the right in order to move up 1. And that means that the slope would be 1 fourth and not 1 half, so we can also cancel option B. All right, now let's move on to option C. We have here a graph of points, a table of points, and now we can plug it in to see if it matches our formula. Our formula again is y equals x divided by 2. That is our linear equation. So now let's plug in our values. Instead of y, we'll plug in 2, and instead of x, we'll plug in negative 4 divided by 2. So now we have 2 equals negative 2, which is incorrect. Therefore, option c will also be incorrect. Now let's move on to option D. Here we can, we'll do the same. We'll plug in our values that are given in the table to see if the equation is true. We will plug in instead of zero, instead of y, we'll plug in zero. And instead of x, we'll also plug in zero. And here we get that zero equals zero, and that is true. Let's move on to our next one. We have one equals two divided by two, which is also true. One equals one. And our third one, instead of y we're going to write 3 equals 4 divided by 2 and that gives us 3 equals 2 and that is incorrect therefore d is incorrect and our final answer will be a